Hi! Checking in with the airplane virus. Apparently I should turn the music down. Just a second. My grandpa. He was killed by the logging company for his mining claims. <laughs> Aren't logging companies cool? Kill off the trees, that's what I say. Can't have, you know, can't have enough houses that nobody can buy. But I digress. Maybe he was like me. He talked too much. Had too much to say. Kind of looks like it. Look at his eyes. He's like, yeah, motherfucker, yeah, right. <laughs> That's right fucking there. Anyway, whatever this crap is, um, there's uh, too much weird uh, symptomology to even describe it all again. I've done it a few times already. Maybe if I get these videos uploaded. Uh, if anybody's interested, they can do it. This is some sort of a germ, bacteria, virus, or engineered one. I'm not really sure because, you know, the airplane seemed to set it off. But it was there already. So, I don't know. The staph infection part's gone. There's no more bleeding or anything. But there's these dark areas under my skin. You see right here. There's a line that runs along here. It runs here. This whole area of my cheek, it looked different. You can kind of see it right here. You know, from here to here. That whole big path is infected with something. And it, it's been that way for months and months now. It oozed out shit for like months. And these white, really white hairs. I didn't have any gray beard hairs until like, you know, a couple of years ago. All of a sudden a few. And then all of a sudden more and more. And But gee whiz, when uh, here's the one on the other side. And there's my ear. This has been two and a half months now. It, it'll heal up and then swell up with this uh, this fluid from underneath. It's kind of like an acid is what it feels like. It feels like a, an acid. You can see it through the skin. It discolors the skin into a, you know, a blackish purplish right under the surface. You know, and this is what it looks like once it scabs out and, and it gets those weird scabs on it. But, uh, Crispy scabs, yeah, that don't ever heal. But it'll swell up, and you'll see the discoloration all through here, in through here. This section right there is where the shit still is. Uh, I've been treating it with methanol because nothing else seems to work. Isopropyl alcohol, even 90%, is not dehydrating enough to kill this stuff. And I've ran out of my antibiotics. I had uh, an abscess that was triggered by this stuff. It infected it somehow. And and I went to the doctor. And the doctor, I, I described this stuff to him. And, you know, I didn't tell him about the airplane connection or anything. He wouldn't comment on it. He, he'd just mm, listen and then say nothing. Just, you know, <laughs> prescribe me my antibiotics and, and poke the abscess so I could drain it. And, um... That's all he did. He had nothing to say about this other stuff. <sighs> Lovely. So I'm treating it myself, and by dehydrating it, I've managed to stop it from roaming around my fucking under my skin right now. And that's one of the worst spots here. It looks like a big old zit, and you know, infected zit, but it's not. It's the shit that's under my skin, and it moves around. I've seen it on my arm. Down here, it kind of pulls around my thumb. Actually, it's more so on uh, this hand. And I've seen it like on the back of my arm, like right here in that area. Sometimes I can, you know, what gives it away is I feel weirdness down there and I look, I'll see a slight discoloration on the skin, but it looks like maybe just arm hairs or something. And then I'll notice the hairs look slightly wet there. And if I tug on them, they, uh, they feel like slightly slimy same thing with these white beard hairs so when this stuff gets it uh, inflamed you know and when the uh, jumbo jets are flying over pretty much or when the little airplane is buzzing the house at 250 feet this area swells up wells up and white hairs you know it's like the beard hairs suddenly they turn all white and thicker and each one feels like a needle that's poking me in the fucking face from the inside out and if I try to grab a hold of one, 
it feels slimy and it's really hard to get a hold of. But if I pinch really hard and yank one out, I can get one out and it hurts like a motherfucker. This side has been, you know, longer than the other side. This side's, I don't know, I, I hope it's done. I mean, how many months can this shit pour out of your fucking glands? This is, I'm, you know, it seems like chemtrail buildup, but it also seems like a virus. So, I'm up in the air about which it is, or a bacteria, not necessarily a virus, but something that's living inside uh, subcutaneous tissues and doesn't want to die. Even with antibiotics, even with, uh, you know internal and external chemotherapy. So I'm doing my own chemotherapy right now. I can't help but think every one of these white hairs is just a spot where the shit's poking out because when it flares up, that's where it hurts the most. Every one of these white hairs hurts like a motherfucker. The other ones seem okay. I mean look, when I would put selenium sulfide on there, Excuse me, um, ammonium lactate. The ammonium lactate's like a white solution, and I'd smear it evenly across everywhere, and then it would kind of soak in and become clear everywhere else, except for that patch there, that patch there, you know, where the, where the big swelled spots are. It would stay white, and it would gel up and stay white and go clear everywhere else. So I'd have these white patches and it's right where it was inflamed, it's right where it feels fucked up every time an airplane flies over as if something's being drawn out of my skin there by the airplane. What sounds like a, a vacuum tube, uh, you know, cathode anode electron path, which is why I believe that the planes are uh, are microwaving and or radio frequency waving us at close range intentionally to, you know, create health and mental problems throughout the community. I'm blowing these weird boogers out of my shoes. Every time this stuff, I make some progress on it, I really poison it down. Suddenly, big old nasty fucking weird boogers. Isn't that lovely? Thanks, Uncle Sam! Anyway. So there's the update. Yuck. You know? Living underneath in like my tear ducts and in my glands and in my scalp subcutaneously it's and making fake white fucking hairs you know since the shit came out of my uh my ear basically it all started with this ear <laughs> since it came out and it was spread across my face for months and then i've battled it down to this i feel so much healthier Although I'm sick of this shit. I'm so fucking sick of it. It makes me want to puke. And every time a fucking plane goes by, I'd like to go out there and shoot the motherfucker down. Because they're so low, you could shoot it down with a 30 out 6 Fucking jumbo jets at treetop level and shit. When we're nowhere near the airport. Fucking retarded shit fucking country. Fuck you, you retarded fucks. I gotta be poisoned to death because you're a fucking moron. But anyway, I digress. That's the update. Ow. It gets all electric and, and static feeling. I mean, you can see it's more white right now. That whole area is white. So it is there too. I, I'm, I bet you this is a Monsanto thing. One saint. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs>